Hi. Okay. So now, in this series, we will discuss about some random numbers. Okay. Let me write it here. NumPy, random numbers. Actually, when you will learn machine learning or artificial intelligence, then this random number module is really, really very important. Okay. It is a. Uh, it has actually a huge place in the NumPy library. Okay. So, if you talk about the definition that what is the random number, so so for this first you need to understand that this random number actually does not mean a different number every time. Okay, random means something that cannot be predicted logically. This is the actual definition. Okay, random is a different thing, but if something you can't predict. Logically, then here in NumPy it is a random number. Okay, look, computers work on a program, right? And program are uh, definitive set of instruction, you can say. So it means there must be a algorithm to generate a number, num uh, uh, random number as well, right? So if there is a program to generate random number, then it can be predicted. So it is not truly random, right? So random number generated through a generation algorithm which is called pseudo rhythm. Okay, let me write it here. Uh, this random number is generated okay through a algorithm which is called pseudo okay p s e u d o random understood look in order to generate a truly random number you uh, need to get the random data from some outside source and this outside source is generally our keystroke our mouse our movement data on the network and many things right so here we do not need truly random number unless it is related to the security like encryption keys or the basis of the application is randomness or something okay so in this video i will be using this pseudo random number so that you could know the basic structure of random numbers okay so first what we will do we will try to generate some random number from the numpy it has a library called random okay so we will use from that so here what we will use from numpy from numpy import what random okay then let me take a variable called sharad and then a random dot what we will do we will print some hundred random numbers so for this we will use a sub module like rand int okay and we will put 100 over here and if we will print this if we will print sharat then okay it print it given me the output 4 if i will again print it again it will tell me some different number if i will do it again then again a different number okay but it will be in between 0 to 100 understood what if you want to generate a random float let me write, a, write it here it is rand int okay means random integer for random float what we will do same thing we will do from numpy import random i have already imported uh, that random so i am not going to import it again so what here i'll do i'll put x and then random dot rand only not random float okay normal rand and i'll uh, make it empty if i'll make it empty and what it will do if i'll print it it will give me some random numbers means random floating values if i'll run it again again some random number again some random number okay but rand i am using for floating option 
okay and what if i want to print some random arrays generate random arrays look in numpy actually we work with arrays okay and here you can use the two method okay because we have already seen the two examples what we done above right so first we will do we will use randint okay actually this randint method take the size parameter where you can specify the shape of an array okay so we will try to create a 1d so what, what we will do from numpy i am writing it from a starting okay import you don't need to write it again and again i am just showing you import random okay then let me take uh, y or let me take sharer 1 okay sharer 1 is equal to now i'll call random module then randint and i'll put a value of 100 so that it will give me the array of 100 in between and then here i'll give the size what previously i was talking about if i'll give 5 what it will do print if i'll do share 1 then it will show me the array of value 5 okay here what we are doing we are generating a random array with integer not float integer if i'll run it again then again it will give me some random arrays of five size if i'll do three then three only three will be printed understood what if we want to do it is a 1d right 1d just suppose i want to print 2d let me copy it here and uh, the same thing we will copy let's take some shortcut now 2d okay share out 2d then rand random size will be same okay but here what we will do we will create a 2d okay so we will do 3 for row and 5 for column and then sharad 2d will be printed if i'll run this you can see 3 is the size right so 3 rows and 5 columns 1 2 3 4 5 it is a 2d understood simple method is this and what if if i want to create an array of float what we have seen above means for floating um, let's say floating 1d 1d okay so here what we will use we will use the rand method okay rand because it also allows you to specify the shape of the array okay so i am not going to copy it again okay from numpy import random it will be same for every uh, every uh, part right because we are uh, right now in a chapter of random so i am not going to import it again and again here what we will do sharad let's say sharad 2 okay just taking a normal variable and then random module i'll call random module and then i'll call rand and here i am giving size okay size of 5 and if i'll print this then sharad 2 means 5 random floating in uh, values are now printed and it is an array understood we are printing 1d and what about 2d what we will do it is very important so you should clear your base basics okay so let's say for uh, g e n e r a t e generating 2d array okay so first uh, let's say share 3 okay and now is equal to random dot rand and then uh, 3 and 5 what we did earlier 3 rows and 5 columns 
now if i'll print this sharat 3 then arrays of 3 rows and 5 columns of floating values are now printed because we have used here what rand and rand is used for floating values understood and uh, just suppose um, let me let me show you you have already no 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 okay so now here just suppose we want to generate random number from an array understood from an array means a given array then what we will do we will use the choice function this one we will use this function this method actually takes an array as a parameter and then it will print randomly one by one or th uh, the value of your specific choice okay so what we will do from numpy will import random understood then here let me take a variable called sharat4 and then random dot choice but here what i will do i have to give some arrays 3 let's say 3 5 7 9 okay so this is the given array and it will now give me the output according to the arrays values given okay it will choose one value randomly from this given array so if i'll print this print uh, share 4 now 5 is printed okay 5 is in between this values right so now if i'll run this again again 5 is if i'll run this again 9 under okay if i'll run this again then 3 means it is choosing the value randomly from this choice method understood and what if we will do by size parameter we have already seen the size okay so just suppose uh, okay let me tell you basically what i am saying the choice method is basically allows you to return the array of values what we already done here okay and if i'll add the size parameter what we have seen in above examples if we will add the size parameter which is basically for 2d then we can specify the shape of an array also from using the random values from the array we can convert it in rows and column also just suppose just suppose i want to generate a 2d from the random array or randomly okay from a given array then what we will do let's take sharad 5 and then random dot choice then here if it is let's say 3 5 7 9 okay and what i will do <coughs> um, i will give a size parameter also size is equal to let's say three rows plus five columns and the value will be same it the array means the output will pick the values from these four these four values and it will randomly allocate it in three rows and five columns understood if i print this print sharat 5 and you can see three rows with five five values are already uh, we got at the output understood it is pretty easy right if i'll run this again again i'll uh, uh, i'll get some different output but the size will be same 3 is to 5 if i'll run this again again the random array okay so it is a basic example of random numbers in a numpy hope you understood because i have told you i have uh, taught you in a very easy method okay just write it down somewhere and keep this in mind always because it is very important library in uh, the machine learning part because for the uh, research purpose always you need to create a model 
okay and for that you need to use some random values because every time maybe for any circumstances you won't get the proper database so for using for, for creating the machine learning model you need to uh, understand this random so that you could generate unlimited number of data sets the data values in it okay so hope you guys understood this if you have any doubt let me know via comment i'll try to give the answer as soon as possible okay so see you in the next video bye bye